out with the old. Get out of here. Coming off pretty good. All right, so it's been a while since I did a tra uh, trailer update. What's wrong, what's been fixed kind of video. So here it is. The Polk Total Station, actually PTS2 plans, but uh, they did not work out for what I wanted to do just because the actual cutout itself was actually stopping the outfeed for the table saw itself. So tore it out, uh, slapped on my last, <laughs> my last uh, three quarter plywood on top of it. And so we have a smooth outfeed and it's been working out just fine because a couple of my employees were having issues getting stopped when it was actually cut out for the miter saw. So that is that is gone. So uh, but the actual table saw this the actual station itself has been working fantastically. The second uh, Milwaukee table saw that they sent me um, at no charge, I will say thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, well, I got my money back anyway, but um, working out good. It's been great. No flaws. No, nothing at all. But this is basically just a workstation and a table saw station, basically, because I have uh, the my new Makita VST-01N miter stand, miter station. It's been working out fantastically. Again, it's been great. And once I get this all cleaned up, I'm going to go inside and we'll, we'll show you what I fixed and what I changed inside here. All right, so yeah, I did a little bit of work to the trailer. I will link in the description the actual tour of this. I'm not going to go through every drawer or anything like that, but I will give you guys a couple, um, you know, pointers and everything like that. I thought I did an update, but I guess I could, I didn't, maybe not, I didn't, maybe I didn't upload it. I don't know. Whatever. So this is basically, we got it going uh, for the work week. So we're going to, uh, it's already charged, the battery bank down the center is already charged up. I got to organize the uh, magnetic drill bit and all that kind of stuff right here, but batteries are all charged except for the one Makita. Everything kind of put away like it's supposed to. I still have to find a spot for the uh, Warner Ladder Buddy thing. So, um, you know, hand tools, uh, Polk station, table saw. Uh, this stays here, bounces around a little bit, but it just stays because it's got the locks. So I like it a lot, absolutely. Nothing around here. I did organize. So we got basically the top drawer is no longer the small hardware. It's actually more nails because this all in one was actually too heavy. And it was, it was causing me problems. So we got your, everything except for framing nails in here. Uh, you know, 16, 15, 18, pin, and staples. And then you got your <clears throat> staple gun nails. And then we got, so you can see how it was kind of, uh, it failed right there. So I got to take that back out and redo it. But we got framing nails and just more extra space back there that I haven't cleaned out yet. So that's the only thing that's new. And we'll set that out here. Um, I do have to re you can see how it's bowing out a little bit. I do have to reinforce that one, but I did reinforce over here. So these ones are all working again. Just put a little uh, three quarter inch reinforce brace in the center and just uh, take out three quarters of an inch of one drawer. Um, so that's what I lost, but it works. So everything's, you know, nothing's bowing out. It's great to go. Just got to do it on that side over there, but everything's working. These ones these are actually not usable. So now just fine. So. You know, you got your plastics and everything, miscellaneous tool, uh, power supplies, will, um, jigs, stuff like that. And then, you know, the rest of them are pretty much the same. I uh, moved up the uh, sandpaper drawer to right here, and the tape drawer is still in the same spot. Caught uh, knives, drywall knives, it's all there. So, I think I got it. I think it's it's. it's you know, basically, I know Ron. This is Ron Polk's design, but his his trailer stays on the job site for you know however long. This one gets driven around every day. Maybe I'm not. I'd say six out of seven days it's on the road. So, well, I wouldn't say that. I work five days, but sometimes I work you know straight through the weekend, like I did last time. It's this is this is it. So I haven't uploaded a video in a while because of this. I've been crazy busy. So here it is. Uh, everything else is working just fine. Power station's great. This is all the same. Nothing's nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Um, yeah, um, I need more. I I do have a lot of tools on the job site. Um, so all the nailers right here. A couple of them are with my employee. And then all the impacts, router. This is all. This is all great. It's great. I did have my paint. Both my paint sprayers uh, failed on the same day. Go figure, right? So both my gun and the Graco are in for repair. What are you gonna do, right? So <laughs> that's. 
Yeah, we had we we had we had to hand uh, hand brush a couple four shutters. So that's that's it is what it is. Get the job done, no problem. This is the this is the main part right here. Obviously, I have the new miter station. It's too wide, or I'm sorry, it's too long for where I had here. So I actually had to cut this out. This used to go all the way to the floor, so I had to cut this out and then rebrace it. You can see the bracing, and on the other side over here too, um, to support the weight up here. But now I actually leaned on it almost all my weight, and it didn't move at all. So I think we're good. Well, my fat butt can, if it can support my fat butt, it can support a microwave. So yeah. Uh, nothing really changed up here too much. I uh, just reorganized it. It's just the nose. So you got, you know, this general stuff up here. Just you know, more clamps and drywall stuff. This is just a tool se section here. Um, I took, I added that and then I took it out over here. There's no more sockets or anything like that. These are just regular bits. More quarter inch hex bits. Drill bits. Hammers. Uh, miscellaneous tool storage so it's all miscellaneous and this is going away i haven't done that yet i'd probably do that the rest of the day but i'm gonna take all these wrenches out i never use them so this can be something else and then we've got my whole hog and my chipper all that kind of stuff these are all those bits for it as well and the bottom one nothing yet that's just this is crap that's going to go away as well so i got a couple extra space some some extra room which is great i did have all these banks filled but I've been trying to lean it out a little bit because there's a lot of stuff I don't use on a daily basis and it's worked out great. So still have to organize up here. I'm gonna have file systems for my job sites and all that kind of stuff. Um, that way it's it's not, it's, you know, a little more, a little more organized, if you will. Uh, dry erase is working out great. And of course I love, well, maybe before I get to this, let's get out here. This is actually the first modification I did to the trailer way back two, two and a half years, three, or, well, yeah, first thing I did. So had to reinforce a couple screws. Um, it's coming off a little bit. I gotta put it back, you know, I gotta screw it back down, but it's working out great. You know, you got your squares, you got a little measuring, you got your pry bars, stuff like that. So this is definitely working out. Uh, you just wedge these up here and then they don't fall down. It's, it's great, so. So the mobile hardware store, if you will, was fantastic i did i did swap these out a little bit so down here in the bottom and this one right here is all the small fasteners Let's see if i can get it with one hand here so so these are all kind of kind of organized so you can see washers more hardware you know more fasteners nuts bolts stuff like that so i got a cup i got two of these like this so that way i know what I need and I don't get in here too often that's why I figured that I could just keep it down here and be done with it and that way I could save a a uh, drawer over here so besides you know the exterior ladder rack and you know rebranding rebranding the business rewrapping the trailer that's that's the gist of it you guys uh we'll link again link in the description of the entire complete you know overview of everything uh, but that is all I have already talked about the pulp total station and the the eight foot drawers, or, you know, everybody likes these eight foot drawers, but they haven't changed. Uh, this is all the electrical. And the, the bottom one is demo and the top one is plumbing. So nothing has changed, all the same. That's about it, that's all I have guys. Like and subscribe, I'll see you in the next video. But I just wanna show you an update I, that did fail. So if you're building your Polk's total station, or I'm sorry, your, your trailer out, make sure you brace these uh, because they're going to bow out kind of like this. And if you, depending if you put a lot of weight on them and you drive around a lot, they're going to fail. So make sure you, you brace them in center section. So I'll see if I have a... It's not here. There it is. So see if you can see down there. There's the brace right there. So that's the... Uh, let's see if I can get this drawer back in here with one hand. No, no, not gonna happen. Maybe it will. All right, Blair Witch shaky cam. There we go. All right. So definitely, definitely add those to your um, to your build because it's gonna save you some some headache for sure. <sighs> See you in the next video.